Bon après-midi tout le monde. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I had the great pleasure of welcoming His Excellency Mr. Ban Ki-moon, Secretary General of the United Nations, to Canada. Earlier today, after meeting in private, we sat down with Ministers Bibo, Dion, and McKenna to discuss issues of pressing importance both to the UN and to Canada. On climate change, we discussed the importance of the Paris Agreement and how the UN and Canada can collaborate more closely to ensure that we achieve our ambitious goals. We discussed how Canada's new, refocused approach for Iraq, Syria, and the broader region, which better reflects our values and unique areas of expertise, will help address both the short and long-term problems the Middle East is facing. I reiterated the commitment of our government to, make, uh, to strengthen the UN's ability to maintain international peace and security, including by increasing support for peace operations and contributing more to mediation, conflict prevention, and post-conflict reconstruction efforts. En ce qui a trait à l'aide humanitaire, j'ai indiqué que le Canada est enthousiaste à l'idée de participer au sommet humanitaire mondial dont M. Ban sera l'hôte au mois de mai cette année. Le Canada poursuivra ses efforts humanitaires partout dans le monde, particulièrement en appuyant les initiatives liées à la santé des femmes, des enfants et des adolescents. Ensemble, nous avons parlé de l'égalité des sexes et de l'autonomisation des filles et des femmes, un sujet qui nous tient très à cœur tous les deux. Notre gouvernement a fait preuve de leadership à cet égard et nous continuerons de promouvoir l'égalité dans l'ensemble de nos actions au pays comme à l'étranger. Enfin, nous avons discuté de la migration mondiale et de la crise des réfugiés. À ce jour, le Canada a accueilli plus de 18 000 réfugiés syriens et est en voie d'atteindre son objectif qui consiste à en accueillir 25 000 d'ici la fin de février. Mais bien entendu, l'accueil des réfugiés n'est qu'une partie de la solution. En travaillant avec d'importants partenaires comme l'ONU, nous continuerons à apporter notre contribution aux initiatives sur le terrain dans les endroits comme le Liban et la Jordanie pour veiller à ce que les réfugiés qui fuient ces conflits aient accès à de la nourriture, de l'eau, un abri, des soins de santé et de l'éducation et à ce qu'ils soient en mesure de vivre dans des conditions acceptables. I look forward to the remainder of Mr. Ban's visit to Ottawa today where we will be engaging in a discussion with lo local youth at the Glebe Collegiate Institute. As Minister for Youth, it's important for me to hear what our young leaders have to say about the issues that matter to them. We'll wrap up the day with a dinner to honor Mr. Ban and his many impressive accomplishments while at the UN. I want to take this time to thank the Secretary General for being here today. Canada looks forward to a strengthened relationship with the United Nations in coming years. Merci. Monsieur le Premier, Premier Ministre, Mesdames et Messieurs, je suis très honoré de rendre une visite si rapidement après votre élection en tant que le Premier Ministre du Canada. C'est la cinquième fois que je viens au Canada depuis que je suis secrétaire général. C'est la première fois depuis que M. Trudeau est Premier Ministre. Nous venons d'avoir des, des échanges à des très constructifs sur toute une série de questions importantes. Nous avons parlé des changements climatiques, des opérations de paix, du développement durable et de la situation des migrants et des réfugiés. Nous avons également parlé des points chauds de la planète, dont la Syrie. Je remercie le Premier ministre de sa collaboration vigoureuse avec l'Organisation des Nations Unies. C'est un grand plaisir de travailler avec lui et avec le gouvernement canadien. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the weather here is quite cold, but the relationship between the United Nations and Canada are very, very warm. Since the United Nations was founded, Canada has always been one of our most important partners. We thank uh, former Prime Minister 
and Nobel Peace Prize laureate uh, Lester Pearson for helping to pioneer United Nations peacekeeping. Prime Minister Trudeau has declared Canada's recommitment to the United Nations. I am here to declare that the United Nations enthusiastically welcomes this commitment. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. At the climate conference last December in Paris, Prime Minister Trudeau's leadership helped us secure the breakthrough uh, we needed uh, for the historic Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Now we need Canada to put the agreement into action and help keep the rest of the world on track. I have invited the Prime Minister to attend the signing ceremony in New York on April 22nd. This will be the best possible way uh, to mark Mother Earth Day. I also commend Canada for its compassionate approach to migrants and refugees. Later today, I will visit the Catholic Center for Immigrants. This will build on, on my many meetings with the refugees and migrants around the world. They have lost their homes and their family members. Uh, they deserve opportunity, human rights, protection, and peace. Canada is helping to give them hope. I applaud highly Canada's commitment to resettle 25,000 Syrian refugees. This is a great show, demonstration of compassionate leadership. I also commend the Prime Minister for committing to addressing United Nations human rights recommendations on indigenous people in Canada, particularly violence against indigenous women and girls. I am impressed by Prime Minister Trudeau's commitment to young people. Later today, we will meet together with a high, sc high school uh, student. He is uh, showing and leading by example by combining his portfolio as Minister of uh, Youth in addition to his uh, premiership. Although I'll be in Canada for only three days, we are laying plans to strengthen our collaboration for years to come. I have brought a number of my top senior advisors, including senior officials dealing with the peacekeeping, humanitarian emergencies, sustainable development, and youth. We are focused on concrete results. I'm confident that our collaboration will have a meaningful impact on the lives of people around the world. I thank you. Merci beaucoup.